My name is uh, Robert Trevino. Uh, I've been working for Gaylor for a little more than four years. I'm a journeyman service electrician. It's for me. I love, I love being an electrician. I did. So all I want to know is, let's start at the very beginning. So you get a call. Okay, so the phone rings. I'm not on call, but I answer anyways. And uh, he says that there's a Myers that has a, uh, a power outage. Might have to set up a generator, go see what's going on. So I punched in the address on the iPad and I noticed that it's not the safest part of town. I get there and then, so I start uh, typing up an email, letting everybody know that I'm on site, that I'm waiting for everybody else, power's still out, you know, just giving everybody an update. Um, as I'm doing that, I see a figure probably, I don't know, 20 feet away from my van, and it looks like it's like stumbling towards my van. And as soon as I press send, the lights come on. It was weird. So I press send, the lights all, power's back up, right? Uh, parking lot lights just lit up it's bright my eyes start kind of adjusting to the light and this figure now is probably like 10 feet from my van it's this young kid it looks like he's been rolling around in grass what looked like dirt to me wasn't dirt it was blood he had like blood all over his torso I got out of the van he said I got stabbed and then so uh, I was like, well, let me call, let me call somebody to help you, you know? And he's like, no, no, no. And I was like, well, let me help you. And he just kind of nodded. And uh, so I went to the back of my van, I opened the back of my van, I sat him down. I grabbed one of my shirts and I put it around him. I grabbed the bloodborne pathogen and the first aid kit. I put my gloves on. Then I started trying to find like antiseptic wipes, right? The wound that looked the worst, that's the one that I went for first. So, so, I, so this is multiple, He it, it was multiple stabs or where was he? Multiple stabs. If it wasn't for Gaylor sending me to these classes, I don't, I don't know what I would have done. When I was cleaning his wounds up, I noticed that it was more than I could handle. So I knew that he needed help that I couldn't give him. If he had a power outage, I would be his man. That I'm an electrician, I, I, I'm I, not a first responder. I just can't do this. I'm gonna have to call somebody. And then, so he says, call my mom. I call, I call, like three times I called and it just went straight to voicemail. And I left her a voicemail, hey, your son's here, he wants to speak to you. A manager from Myers walked up because he seen my van out there and you know, he, probably, he came and he was like, hey, the power's on. But when he came around my van, he seen what, he's like, whoa, what's going on? I was like, hey, can you call 911? So he called 911 and that was it. They took him away. They took him away and I never heard from anybody. I'm not a hero. I'm an electrician, I'm a dad, I'm a, I'm a husband.